Hi there, it's the Common Magician with another Guess the Method. Uh, this is a pretty straightforward trick using a deck of cards. I've got here a regular deck of cards with... Uh, get the jokers out of there. And uh, it, it's completely normal. It's already been shuffled up. Uh, you can see that everything is, is on the up and up uh, with these cards. Uh, nothing really strange going on with them. What I want you to do is make a number of choices. Okay, so you're gonna make you're gonna make a few choices, and these are real choices. These are not uh, you know the the uh, magician's choice kind of scenario uh, where you make one choice and then the choice could go uh, one way or another way. These are real choices, and I want you to make a, a number of them to come down to a couple of pieces of information, and we'll see where that gets us. So uh, the first choice that I want you to make is I want you to tell me uh, when to stop a, a, a riffle. So I'm gonna riffle through the deck. I just want you to indicate when you want me to stop at any moment. Uh, completely free selection. Uh, go ahead and tell me when to stop. Stop. Right there. Okay, so now we have two more choices uh, to make. Uh, the first one is going to be which card that you want. You see that uh, you told me to stop at this point, and I have a card here in my left hand at the top of this pack. I've got a card over here at the bottom of this pack, and you can choose, and I want to be very clear, whichever one you choose is going to be your card. It's going to be the card that you think about. It will be your selection. So you can make a choice here. Do you want the left packet, my left packet, or do you want the right packet? The left packet. Very good. Okay, so this is going to be your card. I want you to take a good look at it. Okay, so that's your card. Now, I can't see it. I want you to memorize that card. Keep that in your mind. Okay, so that will be your card. Uh, now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the card right next to your selection, which is going to be this card right here. It's going to be a, a two of hearts. Now, you don't have to memorize this card. You just need to remember the first one. But I want you to pay attention to this number. Now, we can do a number of different things here uh, mathematically. This is a very low number. So uh, I'll give you uh, one of two options, and whichever one you pick is the one you're going to do. Now, don't tell me what you do, uh, but with the number two, you can either multiply by two. There's no card value in here, uh, assuming that a uh, jack is 11, queen is 12, and king is 13. Uh, there's no numbers in there that you couldn't multiply by this small number uh, that would be more than 52. So you can multiply by two, or if you want, uh, you can add two to your number, whatever, whatever the number is on your uh, card, the one that you are thinking of. Okay, this one right here. So your choice, don't tell me what it is. It doesn't matter, uh, but you can choose to do uh, whatever you want. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything back. I'm not going to shuffle or anything like that. There's going to be kind of a, a magical event that's going to happen here. So let's recap. You have a card that you selected freely, uh, and you had a choice in that selection. You told me when to stop. Uh, you also were able to choose uh, either the card in the right hand or the left hand completely freely. We took the card next to your selection, and you have either added that number to or you've multiplied by two to come to a number. So you have a card that you're thinking of that you selected, and you have a number that you've arrived at. Okay, so you have a card you're thinking of, you have a number that you have arrived at, either by taking the number of the card you're thinking of and multiplying by two or adding two to it. Now, in this one motion, you haven't told me any of this information, by the way, so I don't know what your card is and I don't know what number you're thinking of. This is all, all held to your own, your own mind. Uh, in this one motion, watch carefully, quick riffle, and it's all been done. Now, I need one piece of information from you. I don't want you to tell me what your card is. Uh, I just want you to tell me what number you have arrived at. So this is the number that you've either multiplied into or the one that you've added into. So what is the final number that you arrived at? Nine. Nine? Nine. Okay. So, uh, nine cards. Now, I know that the number you started with probably, well, well, let's put it this way. If it's a nine, I know you added, right? Because if you multiplied by two, two is an even number. If you multiplied by that number, 
uh, you would have come up with an even number. So I can kind of deduce that the card you were thinking of, the card that you have in your mind that you selected, is a 7, right? If, if I work my way backwards on this. So you've added 2 to 7 to come up with 9. So I know you have a 7 of some kind. I don't know what one you have. Um, but what I'm going to do is very simple. We're just going to count face up. Now you could have come, I just want to remind you, you could have come to any number. You could have come to another number. If it's a 7, you could have come to 14, right? That could have been possible too. Uh, and it could have been a different card than that with a different card next to it. A lot of choices in here. But you came to 9, and I know that you have a 7. I'm going to count from the top of the deck down to 9 cards. Face up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and this is the ninth card, very fairly. I could have you deal it uh, if you were here. 9. So your card was the 7 of hearts at the ninth position uh, based on a number of selections that you made which were absolutely free. Uh, from a, a regular deck of cards. So uh, think about this. Hopefully there's a couple of wrinkles in there for you to uh, ponder and, and think about uh, what's going on here. Write your comments in the comment section below uh, as to what you think the method is, what you think uh, the methods are that are at work here, and how this might be accomplished. And then uh, on the other side of this, I'll make a, a video uh, with a follow-up, and we'll talk about the method that I used uh, in the way that these methods could be applied in some other kinds of effects. So good luck with this, and I wish you happy magicking.